my name is Rhapsody, welcome back to Monster Train. We're gonna go random random, covered in 18. Still making that climb. Alright, uh, two purifying cleansers. Tempers the strength of our units, the Seraph the Temperate. Uh, a resin removal and two offering tokens. So the resin removal is gonna be really good in the final fight for clearing all of our debuffs. Purifying cleanse, having two of those by base in the deck makes me pretty excited for the possibility of getting the burn bright. Rector flicker here. Let's take jack strips happily. Yes. Oh, so many of our problems were just solved. We can take so many early. We can take everything. It's fine. It really doesn't matter. Rector flicker so strong. Uh, let's go train. Uh, I guess we go drag, drag there. That's fine. Thank you, Jack Strips, for taking care of that one for me. Frozen Lance will take care of the next. Yeah. I'm honestly happy to have a drag here. Should I have been? Eh, it shouldn't really matter either way. Uh, no. Yeah, because the boss just already dies to the burn bright rector flicker here. So many of them will. Uh, draft drip fall entombed explosive. Hmm. Purifying cleanse is not bad. But keeping a draft alive. Draft is a lot of damage. I'm gonna take it and see if I can do stuff with it. Helical Crystallis is just good. It's just very good. Take it just for the value. Uh, Lady of the House, Wickless Baron, and a Guard of the Unnamed. Lady of the House makes some kind of sense with the Purifying Cleansers. I still don't know if I'd go for it. No. I'm looking for the Lady of the Reforms. More so here. Okay, for spell upgrades, honestly, like, Holdover or Double Stack on the Purifying Cleanse is a great idea. Resin Removal, don't really care about. Helical Chrysalis, I want to reduce the cost of, as well as upgrade the damage of. So Burnout's a good pick for us. Holdover's a good pick for us. Permafrost sucks. Well, Permafrost is fine for the Resin Removal, actually. Permafrost is okay. Consume removal is garbage. Uh, uh, going over that way is starting to feel harder to do. Okay. Mm. I'm liking that Kogelia. Specifically, because we can just give it quick, and then plus 10, and now most of our problems are solved with just the Rector Flicker and Kogelia on the bottom floor. I just have to make sure that I hit those burnouts in time. You know, it's okay. It's okay. If Kogelia dies here, it's fine. That said, I'm still gonna set up on this floor. Oh no, resin removal! I could've, ah, oh, dang it. I'm gonna set up on the next floor just so that the two health minions would die by the time they came up here. Frozen Lance, the health of Crystallis on the bottom. Uh, I can get past that Frozen Lance, actually. Fine. Let's go double train steward and throw out this Sinner's Burden. Unfortunately, having a little bit of difficulty drawing the Purifying Cleanse, but thankfully it's guaranteed to be the next hand. Jackstrip's doing pretty much all I have wanted it to. There you go. Game, easy kill, easy challenge to take.
Hello, drippings. I like it. I like it. Makes us much safer to continue playing the Rector Flicker. Ooh, do I? I cast spells on Rector Flicker's floor. Maybe I take a Glacial Seal here. No, 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 no. Our AoE is already good. With the Cold Calia as well as, like, with, you know, enemies up to 15, six, 16 health. Right? 3, 2, 3, 2. Yeah. Enemies up to 16 health die pretty easily to Cold Calia. So, past 16 health, you basically almost exclusively have big boys. Just big lads. Large. Uh, so, honestly, I want a Helical Crystallis more than I want the Glacial Seal there. We could find the Lodestone Totem over here, which would be great. Just put Sap behind the Rector Flicker. Sap behind the Rector Flicker is even better because it means that against bosses, Cold Kellia is having a lot more time to stack up that Frostbite. Because Cold Kellia is kind of like, at the moment, is functioning as like a pseudo champion, in particular a Tethys. Uh, although they have Quick by base, which Tethys can't get. There's a lot of spell upgrades I want, but there's also an artifact. Uh, we gotta go for the spells. Double stack on the Hallowed Drippings is nice. Or do I put it on Purifying Cleanse and then just wait for Holdover? I'm gonna put it on a Purifying Cleanse, actually. I think I'm okay with that. Uh, we'll Emberstone one of the Hilt of Crystalluses. I would re-roll and then Emberstone again, but I actually can't even afford that. Hang on. None of those, though. All right. Give me money. No, no money. Plus one damage for each Blight in my deck. I've got two Blights in my deck. So this event is a lot better now because we have more Blights. So this is actually, you know, five extra damage to every unit I summon. Is that worth? We do have a little bit of a push in that direction, which is these two Offering Tokens can just discard Blights for us more commonly. I also don't want to chunk up the deck for the sake of drawing the Purifying Cleanses and Hallow Drippings at the same time, but I think I'm also actually already okay with those. Yeah, you know what? Let's go with the Penitent Remains there. Let's try it. I very, very rarely take something at that event. I do think that event is a little underpowered, but if there's ever going to be a time, it's when I have two dead weights in my base deck, so it's actually already better. Oh, that went so well. Those two up there as well. As I expected, the offering token helps us just discard a dead weight there. Honestly, like these fights are going to be pretty easy for a while. Specifically because we have that one draft in the deck, I wouldn't mind seeing a, a reform. A mold over. And then should be a pretty easy boss. Nice. We've also got the upgrade, the Dark Forge, very soon. Formless Child. That's a way to get back the draft. Okay. Let's try it. I don't think I need any of those, though. Draw helps offset the weight of the dead weights. And honestly, nothing else seems useful for us at the moment. Minion upgrades. Right now, the draft wants an upgrade. But not desperately. Duping something? 
I could I could happily dupe the the purifying cleanse with the doubled effects. So what do we have trouble with right now? We have trouble with two big dudes. That's what we have trouble with. The draft is help for that. So upgrading the draft feels good as well. If we're going to be bringing things back with the formless child, I really want to remove like trash from the deck, like the dregs and the train stewards. Although if it's only returning, you know, a uh, uh, draft, sorry, the, the dregs from the deck. If it only returns a draft and the draft has still burnout one like it's gonna have to return it multiple times unless i start using hallowed drippings or uh, purifying cleanses on it i could see that happening though plus 10 is good enough for you also actually give the formless child some more health right i'm not gonna be killing the formless child myself yeah none of my spells can even target my minions so sure <laughs> Oh, but what if I want to sacrifice it? Uh, I feel like that's actually quite likely. Let's cut a train suit and a drag. And go for the Dark Forge for the extra burnout. Thank you. Not the extra burnout, but the extra stats on the burn bright. Uh, enemies end with spell shield too. That is actually kind of an annoying problem for us. Because we're going to be relying on the Helical Crystallis to take out the Light Harnesses that managed to get past us. And many of them are going to get past us. As much as I want the money there, I suspect it would cost me at least 30 health. Ooh, hello drippings on the draft. Love that so. Feeling a lot better based exclusively off of that about our prospects. Four burnout. Two more. All of those are already dying. I get the formless child behind there. Behinds? Maybe it should have gone in front. I keep thinking I have other ways to trigger it. Which I just do not. In particular, I keep thinking that I have something like an intent on death in my deck. I would love an intent on death. Wicked Blaze. Well, Wicked Blaze is the draft, remo uh, draft reform I've been asking for. It also fulfills pretty much exactly the same role the Formless Child is trying to. Crushing Demise, although, is also a good pick here. Because uh, it gives us the ability to play that on a floor for any of the big units that happen to get past us. Because, like, if there are two big dudes and one of the big dudes is in front, it gets killed by the Rector Flicker and the Corkalia. And then the Corkalia also kills the Chumps on that floor. So on the next floor, it's just one single big dude. And that's a good target for a Crushing Demise. I'm actually into the Crushing Demise as a result of that. Wicked Blaze, though. Wicked Blaze, though. Wicked Blaze will always have one capacity target that it can reform and then put behind the Rector Flicker Corkalia. I'm taking it. Preserve is actually really interesting here. Wait, is it? Okay, it is, but for a weird reason. I'm not going to say the reason yet. We'll see it in battle. Okay. Uh, spell upgrades versus minion upgrades. There's also double removal over on the spell upgrade side. But the more I remove, the higher the dilution of the, the the higher the saturation rather of the uh, the dead weights in the deck is. Fine. 
I think the event is what tipped me over the line here. Seam removal? Eh, hello drippings doesn't necessarily need that. Oh, okay. I can make Kolkelly a one size right now. Major refraction is a little difficult because, well, you know, if Kolkelly is major refracted, then it's, it's, it's very powerful, but it also doesn't fit on the same floor as the Rector Flicker anymore. I would have to wait and get a capacity before I can use them. I can't put it on the draft for the same reason. Um, but I can overstack the stuff on the Kolkelia here, that is to say the upgrades on the Kolkelia, and make you mini, which is just an extra capacity on the bottom floor for me, basically. And the Merchant of Magic go back to you. We'll decrease the cost of the Helical Crystallis before we reroll. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Should I permafrost the Wicked Blaze? No, I really feel like I just play the Wicked Blaze every time I draw it. Maybe permafrost goes on Hallowed Drippings and I only play that after I get something back from the Wicked Blaze that I want to keep alive. Okay. That doesn't sound totally outlandish to me. Actually, I'm also going to spend the final 20 here on a consume upgrade for Frozen Lance. Noble enemies gain multi strike. Uh, okay, the clipped guardian will have multi strike, but I have a lot of health regeneration in my deck. The other units don't get multi strike because they die. Too cold, Kelly. Oh gosh, gotta love that as an opening. Where do Dreg go, though? Yeah, Dreg go there. Dreg should have gone on the top floor. Yeah, it should have gone on the top floor, so it would have lost its day, so it would have the ability to attack a collector if there was one. Nothing being cast on that bottom floor will actually help. If you'd like a clear demonstration of that, cast. Cast. None of the numbers changed. All right, we're finally gonna get to demonstrate the thing I was talking about. And that's that I wanna freeze these dead weights so I never have to draw them again. So I'm just gonna freeze it. This does chunk up the size of my hand, which is a problem, but it's doing okay right now. Unfortunately, the Draft and the Wicked Blaze are in the same hand, so I'm not going to be able to actually reform something good with it. But I can reform just a Dreg and then, you know, Hallowed Drippings then. So I will do that. Or I could... I mean, I could just play that Draft and then Hallowed Drippings. Yeah, that's that's even better. That's even better. Uh, then let's preserve the other dead weight. Sweep. They have sweep. Mm hmm. I am in a very, very bad uh, position where I, I continually ignore. Uh, let's Wicked Blaze you back and then win. Thankfully, I'm in a bad position where I consistently ignore the actual boss's abilities and I keep playing as though, oh, there's no sweep in this fight because none of the enemies had sweep, regardless of the fact the boss might have sweep. I need to address that. I need to get better at handling that. Fatal melting. No, no friendly deaths. No friendly deaths. So yeah, none of these. None of those either. Thank you. 
while I'm freezing stuff, I definitely don't want to discard my whole hand. Uh, merchant, I mean, just for the 75 over there, we might be able to buy something in the merchant, but we also could just not be able to buy anything in the merchant. No, wait, we have things are 25% cheaper. We can actually, it's fine. Uh, Flicker's Liquor. Whenever you play a unit, random card in hand is cost reduced to zero for the rest of the turn. Not relevant? Yeah, our hands are already pretty much all free. I'm going to re-roll and see if I can get something good here. Enemies enter with Frostbite 2. Eh. Friendly units have Extinguish, Apply 5 Armor to the friendly enemy. Honestly, none of those really appeal at all. I was very much hoping for something along the lines of uh, the Waxer Incense. I can't remember actually what it's called, but it's grant plus three sacks of burnout each time it's applied. Oh, that would have been a great pickup for us right there. Let's train Stuart out of here. Let's drag out of here. Fell empowers her units with rage. Can we set up on the bottom floor here? I think we can. No, we cannot. Because otherwise that clipped guardian is just going to get unchallenged the entire time. Or rather go unchallenged the entire time. for applying rage up here so now i can put a we'll do the offering token stuff first just in case nothing cool so now i can put a drag in front of you and then i have the drag killed and then i have the formless child killed so i get a more powerful drag back then i can put the drag behind this line and then start buffing it Again, Wicked Blaze at the worst time. Actually, hang on. Let's Wicked Blaze the Formless Child. Wait, we have nothing in the discard? Oh my god. I'm gonna play that draft there. I'm gonna play the Formless Child there. Pop that drag down. No reason not to, I guess. <laughs> and I know that, yeah, I, I knew that uh, the Hallowed Drippings was still left in the deck. Please get it. Oh, God, we did. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yes, the enemy had sweep there. That was unfortunate. Uh, you also have sweep, so we need to find a way to kill you first. Or actually, no, we can just heal you. That's good enough. Heal you as well. I'm also casting those spells on the Master of Light just in case I end up getting the ability to hit it with a Helical Crystallis this turn, which actually we do. Specifically, Helical Crystallis. And then a Frozen Lance, and then that's enough for Kolkelia to kill you. Let's bring back the same Dreg again. <laughs> okay. This is actually running like a real deck. I mean, honestly, if I just have enough health on the right to flicker, we're fine here, right? Uh. Or not. Or not at all.
Yeah, I guess it really didn't change that much about how many turns I had in action there. Yikes. <laughs> We're not going to be able to find a single defender here. Well, we might go from taking no damage in every fight to just dying. Wow. So on that final turn, there was a draft that was burning out. I thought that I was going to increase my damage much more significantly by keeping my Rector Flicker alive rather than giving the draft more time on its burnout. I think, in retrospect, more time on the draft burnout because they burnt out significantly before the Rector Flicker even died. <sighs> Yeah, definitely not my best run. I'll say that much. Definitely not my best run. I think I relied too heavily on the power that we got early. I I do think that, you know, we actually made some progress in how we use Burnout, how we use uh, Drafts, how we use the Formless Child. Um, using Actually using a Wicked Blaze, finding it very useful. I think we made a lot of progress in how we played the Melting Remnant here, but I think that in particular, trying to rely on the Rector Flicker too much uh, made us made us a bit weaker than I was uh, comfortable being at that point in time, and a bit weaker than it looks like we had any possibility of. Yeah, no damage, no damage, no damage, no damage, no damage, dead. Dang. really wonder what would have happened if the draft was done instead. I suspect we might have actually won. God, that's a huge misplay. Well, nothing we can do about it except pick ourselves up, dust ourselves off, and go into the next episode. Until then, though, my name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Monster Train. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves, and hopefully we'll see you next time.